what Ebola is, is a virus that infects humans. It doesn't regularly infect humans, but it's a virus that exists in nature, and once one person is infected, it can be passed from human to human for a few cycles, depending on the contact between people. So the reason that people get alarmed is that it spreads in a relatively small focus. First one person is infected, and then through secretions, blood, uh, diarrhea, even perspiration, very close contact can spread from person to person. The fatality rates may go as high as 90% with these viruses, and that's exactly the kind of thing that will cause panic. So it's a virus, which means it cannot be treated with antibiotics, any of our conventional antibiotics for bacteria. We don't have other licensed treatments at this moment. We, there are some experimental treatments. It, it's a virus that causes disease that develops fairly rapidly within two weeks, sometimes less than two weeks, into a severe fever, a, a whole constellation of symptoms, fever, diarrhea, muscle aches, uh, it's called a viral hemorrhagic fever. That is a late symptom of disease. Initial transmission to the index case is, in practically every case, a matter of speculation in the sense that it is thought that maybe a bat, and this is a case we call these zoonoses, where the virus is a natural resident of one species, but it can accidentally and infrequently infect another species, sometimes with spectacular consequences of a high mortality rate. There are some experimental vaccines that will um, offer some protection. These are all in, in monkey uh, experiments. The vaccine platform I'm working on most recently is one that is a uh, weakened form of virus that can't make a full new copy of itself but can express one of the Ebola genes. So it is made as a particle that resembles a virus. It attaches to and enters cells. In there, it copies itself to some degree and then makes many copies of the protective protein from Ebola. And that induces an immune response that, if everything goes right, uh, protects against disease.